fishing is fine, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. So today, guys, I'm gonna show you how I prepare Chinese style steam bass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you from start to finish. So cleaning, I'm gonna show you how I clean them, how I get it prepared, and how easy it is and how delicious of a, a table fare these bass make. The ideal size is about pound, pound and a half. Those are your, your better size for eating. So we got one about a pound and a half right here. And I'm gonna just take a scaler like this. And we're gonna pull the scales off. So the skin's gonna stay on the fish. So it's not like you're playing a fish, you know, when you're frying it or something. But we're just pulling the scales off. So you could go to any place and get a scaler like this. So it just has the jagged edges here. And it makes it pretty easy where it just pulls the scales right off. So you want to scale both sides. So cleaning these things probably takes you about five minutes. So here we got all the scales off. And then I'm just going to take the knife and we're going to gut it. So I'm going to go from the hole here, cut it right up to the top, do the gills. And we're going to take the gill, gills out and the guts. So what I do is I cut around the gill and then right where it attaches to the backbone there and just remove the guts out. And then I'm going to cut the belly here. And then just rinse it down. Very easy. So. Okay. Now I got the fish all cleaned up. As you can see, no scales on it. It's all cleaned up like this. And then I'm gonna lay it in the sink. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I prepare it. Um, I don't use a steamer, I use a microwave. I'll show you how I do this. So then we're gonna pat it dry Stick it on a little platter like this. And here's your main ingredients. You're gonna have green onions, fresh ginger. I use a light soy. Sea salt. And white pepper. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the ginger Slice a couple pieces like this and then I'm going to also cut some up here after we after I nuke it then I take the old uh, ginger and green onions off and put fresh ones and what I do is I pound it I smash the ginger like this and then I chop it up. And I just ch chop it up in little slices like this. See? And then I'll take the green onions. For one fish like that, I usually take 
either two or three strands, depending. So basically I'm just cut till I hit the green and then I'll stop. And I use that when I put it in the steamer. And these I'm gonna use afterwards. So once I get that chopped like that, so I have the green onions that look like this. They're just sliced up in little pieces with the ginger. Okay, so I take the light soy and I'm gonna pour over the fish a little. And on the inside. So I basically wanna put a, just a little light covering over it. So another key ingredient is I use a like a bouillon, like a chicken broth. So I'm going to take like maybe one teaspoon and I'll probably have about a cup of water. So I put it in here. So it's like probably like a cup. And then I'm going to pour it in the bottom of my plate. I just pour it in the bottom like this. So I had my light soy. I think I'm gonna just put just a tad more on it. And if you want, you could actually take it and put a slice down in the fish like that. And then I'm gonna take my white pepper. I don't measure anything when I'm cooking, so I just put it on. You don't put a whole lot. I just sprinkle it on a little bit, real light on the salt. Then I'm going to put my ginger and green onions over the top. This is how easy it is. Then I'm going to put saran wrap. This cling, and this one is microbial safe. So then I'm going to put this over the fish. I'm gonna get a good seal over the top. Press it down so it's covered. And then I'm just gonna poke two holes, one on each side. So this fish is probably about maybe a pound and a half. So I'm gonna put it in the microwave for probably about eight minutes. So you can see it's covered, got two holes poked in it, and we're ready to put it in the microwave. Okay, so after I put it in the microwave for a pound and a half fish, you're looking at about eight minutes, depending on how hot your microwave is. So after I take it off, I'm gonna remove the ginger and the green onions on there. And then I'm gonna put the fresh ones on there. So I'm gonna put the, sprinkle the ginger over the fish and the green onions. And in the meantime, I'm heating up a little bit of uh, peanut oil and I get it real hot so that it's smoking. So I put the fresh ginger and the fresh green onions on there and I'm heating up the peanut oil right now. And depends on your microwave. So like your fish on a pound and a half, you're looking at about eight minutes and then um, it's really fast. You're talking about, you know, getting it prepared and everything. And I could have this dish ready in probably 20 minutes. So I got the peanut oil smoking. It's smoking hot right here. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna pour it over, over the fish. You hear it sizzling. And that brings out the flavor in the fish. That's all there is to it, steamed bass, and it's actually a really good table fare. So I hope you like this video, and please just hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna leave me a comment, you can leave it, and I'll answer you in two or three days. So thanks for watching, see you later. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today.